County is on track to open its new 911 center in May. Marina Silva is there now with a look at what it will mean for people who live there and for law enforcement too. Marina. Well, Paul, if you take a look behind me, this is where the construction is, and you can see behind me of what is already done. Now, it's about a third of the way done, and it's on track to be finished by this May. A, a better ability to work. Uh, aesthetically, it's a lot better. It's going to be a lot better for the employees. Uh, you know, they're enclosed in here for 12 hours a day. Uh, with no windows, at least we'll have windows up there. It's Sheriff Millsap says the 911 operators are working in close quarters right now. It just relieves some of the pressure of down here of just too many people and not enough space for growth. Commissioners agreed it was creating a health and safety concern for operators. What, what COVID revealed to us was the, our vulnerability by working in a very confined space. So our current dispatch is in a room probably about maybe 16 by 20 feet. So you have uh, dispatchers in there literally sitting almost side by side in a confined, confined environment with probably not uh, as good a ventilation as what you'd like to have. The money to build the new center is from American Rescue Plan, ARPA. The money gives towns a chance to recover economically from COVID. We felt like using the ARPA funding to serve uh, many, many years in the future uh, would be the best use of those funds. So it'll enable us to con continue to provide, uh, to be here to answer the call. The total project costs about $5.1 million. Sheriff Millsap says he is excited for the new building to open. That it'll just be a better working area for those that, that are in here and have to work. Uh, you know, this is a tough place to work. It's a lot of stress. And to be on top of one another doing that uh, makes it more difficult. Now they're hoping to get the roof onto this building within the next couple of weeks and stay on track for May. Reporting live in Laclede County tonight, I'm Marina Silva, KY3 News.